Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to make a seamless pattern without being scripted. Just do it on the fly. I'm going to make an ellipse, eight inches. I'm going to put P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to contour. I'm going to contour five times at a half an inch. And what that did, now normally you have to break the contour apart. But if we set our nudge factor on like nine inches, use the Smart Fill tool to fill in these rings, which we need anyway, I'm gonna fill in every other ring. Now I can delete these. I'm gonna go ahead and hit P to put these in the center of the page. I'm gonna left click, right click. I'm gonna go ahead and group them together. And it's eight inches, so I'm gonna make my nudge factor nine. So I'm gonna hit the plus key and hit nine. I'm gonna take these two, control D to duplicate, and I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees. I want that space right there in the middle. I'm going to control G and I'm going to hit P to put it in the center of the page. Now, this is a little bit, you just got to use your imagination. We want the rings on top of each other or not so they won't be. So on this one, we're going to go all the way down. Whoop. We're going to go all the, way, all the way to the next one. Just need to make sure. So we're going to stop right there. And I'm going to stop right here. Just make sure you get all the blue. So that's stopping because now we're going to go here and continue this ring. Whoop. Continue. Continue this ring. And stop there. And now we're going to go all the way around with the other ones. And we're going to go here, here, and here. I think I actually messed up right there. But what we can do is take the smart fill tool and delete that. We actually need to fill in this. So it looks like, so what I'm trying to get to is this one is on top of that one. So now I need this one on top of the other one. So we're going to go here, 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 and stop. Whoop. Got outside the box. Now that one looks like it's on top of the other one. So now this one, we want to stop there. So we're gonna go here, here, here. And we want this one underneath. Well, I'm really messing up. Um, we'll look at it in just a second, which way it is. Yeah, that, that that's exactly what I wanted. I want them to look like they're um, on top of each other. So one of these I need to put there. Yep, that's what I wanted. I need, yep. So what's so neat about this, I can now nudge these lines out of the way and I can control G to group this together. I'm gonna hit P, it's already in the center of the page, but I want P. Now for a second, I'm gonna ungroup them. I'm going to go to object group and ungroup because I want to be able to find the center of each one of those small circles. So I'm going to bring in an indexing line and I'm going to have it snap to that center. Got to turn on my indexing line. Go in here and snap to there. Go here and snap there. You got to kind of be near the center for it to snap to. Now what I want to do is take a rectangle that size and go from that node to that node. And see, I'm a little bit off somewhere because I've got 0.96. Um, but it's going to work. So now what I do want to do is nudge this out of the way. I am going to control G to group it. I'm going to go ahead and put P, put it in the center of the page. And now I'm going to get rid of my indexing lines and I can take all this and I can go intersect. And what that did is that gave me this box. Now I want it to be equal, so I'm going to make it just two by two. We're going to get rid of all this. Now I'm going to set my nudge factor on two. And we're going to grab this. And because they're equal, look at that. And you can make it this pattern. Is, now I'm going to go downhill. You can make this pattern whatever size you wanted. And it's going to be seamless. And it looks like they're all on top of each other. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.